So what would you say are some things that you would recommend to you know, creators starting out? I would recommend... So, all right, so before we get started, I um, just want to say that we are event and lifestyle photographers and videographers, and we create content for entrepreneurs and small businesses here in South Florida. I would recommend a mentor. Um, if it's not possible to find a mentor, I would recommend working with as many people as possible because you learn a lot from working with different people, their process. I was personally recommending a mentor because that's what happened. To me, that was my story. I worked with somebody who was in the business for 10 years. They were an absolute expert, and I just learned so much from someone who knew exactly what they were doing from a business aspect and from a creative aspect. So that's why I definitely recommend that. Yeah, 100%. I, I totally agree with that. Mentor is key, even though it's hard sometimes to find the right one, but if you just keep going, keep pushing, you'll definitely come across people um, that can help you level up in your business. But I recommend just reaching out, reaching out to um, companies, brands, uh, other creatives, um, just shadow people, um, see how they work, how they deal with clients, how they deal with um, certain situations, yes. how they yeah. you know um, manage, I guess, ultimately their business and the creative aspect. Oh, don't be afraid to slide in someone's DMs and tell them that you wanna you know, follow them, learn some things about their craft that you can apply to your business or apply to your um, skill set. And don't compare yourself to others, I will say, starting out. It, it kind of hindered me in a sense and lowered my confidence in my skill set when I was comparing myself. Compared to like other photographers and videographers out there, once I stopped doing that, it kind of just helped me focus on what's most important and it's just doing what I love and having fun with it. And, yeah, I love exactly what you said, you know, about not comparing yourself to other people. Do not compare yourself. There's there's no sense in comparing yourself. Every single person out here is very unique and they bring something different to the table. It might sound cliche, but it's very true. There's something very unique that you do that I can't do, that he can't do, and we need that. So I really encourage you just stop focusing on other people. Think about what you do that helps other people right now. You can ask your friends, your family, people that are close to you, your support system, what am I good at helping other people with? And it might not be photography and that's okay. Or maybe it is, but it's not a specific niche. Niche, niche, notch, niche, nooch. Just, just don't, just yes. don't do it. And also when you're reaching out to people, do not feel discouraged either. Um, me and EJ have been there, we've reached out to many, many people, um, sometimes you hear no, sometimes they're just like... You're actually going to get ignoring. more no's than yes, and that's fine, because the ones that do say yes, um, it only takes one person anyway to change exactly, yeah. everything, mm -hmm. to be honest. Expect those no's, but know you're going to get that yes. Um, once from you, one person. From that one least. person, at least. So don't be So don't be discouraged, keep the faith, you know, stay connected. And, keep pushing so thank you guys so much for watching let us know if you have any questions we're here for you let us know um, what we should do next if you want yes. stay connected guys Bye.